Hi, this is Sweet June. How's everybody doing? <sighs> Coming back at you. Um, I want to talk about, um, there's this guy on YouTube. Uh, his name is, um, I think it's Cohen Nan Nanwick. I'm not, I might not be pronouncing that right, but, um, he, um, has a YouTube channel and he makes, uh, YouTube videos, um, talking about his whole MO is he's talking about, um, his love of black women, um, how much, you know, what he loves about black women, different topics talking about, um, he talks about how to approach black women. He talks about how he loves black women's skin and hair and um, just different topics like that. I mean, um, you guys might want to check him out. I think his name is Cohen Nanwick. And he's from the Netherlands, um, actually. Uh, he's a nice looking white guy, you know. And I'm really, you know, I subscribe to him. I'm really, really fascinated by his videos because... Um, you know, he pretty much be blowing black women up, you know, pretty much. He's, he's be blowing black women up. Um, he say a lot of positive things about black women. He talks about what he loves about black women. And um, it's very obvious that he's uh, very much into black women and very much attracted to black women. That's a beautiful thing. And it's very refreshing to hear someone on YouTube that actually, you know, is talking positive and saying positive things about black women um because we all know that there's thousands and thousands of videos on black on youtube bashing black women saying negative horrible nasty things about black women and and it's really enlightening to see someone on youtube that's really uplifting us and saying positive things about us on here so i enjoy his videos i enjoy watching them um, I did a video, if you guys want to check it out, um, a while back, back in the summer. I think it was back in the summer. I did a video about uh, white white men um, uplifting black women on YouTube. Um, it's You, you kind of have to, I have quite a few videos, so you kind of have to scroll back because I did it back in the summer. Check that video out. I'm talking about um, how black, white men are um, saying positive things and um, blowing black women up on YouTube. Um, but, but what I find, what I find interesting, uh, when I read in the comic section of some of his videos is that I, I'm finding that there are, you know, uh, black men coming on there that hate black women and they're bashing us and saying negative things about us. Um, and to him, you know, um, because I don't even know why they're even, if, if you hate black women, why would you even tune in to someone um, that's talking positive about black women? Um, I guess it's to come on here because he probably know that there's a lot of black women that's tuning in to this guy. So he's coming on there. I think he said something about black women being bad witches. And, you know, that's their favorite thing to say about black women. They love um, black women bashers. They love saying that. That's like their favorite word. It's like if you if you hate black women, why do you care if a black woman dates a white man if you hate black women? So I think a lot of it is is um, deep seated bitterness. They're really actually bitter. Uh, they have a lot of bitterness against black women because somewhere along the line they got hurt by a black woman. Um, it could have been their mother that hurt them. Um, they or they was in love with a black woman and they got hurt, or they're upset because they couldn't get the black woman that they wanted. You know, they wanted a particular black woman and they couldn't get her. So now, you know, they hate all black women. So I think a lot of it is just bitterness. Um, they're just bitter, you know. Um, but I see a, there's a lot of black men coming on his videos like that. And there's also, I uh, noticed that was quite interesting. Uh, there's some white women that's coming on there. And it was this, it's this one white woman that came on there. And she's really, really ignorant. Um, and said that, uh, call, called us niggers, you know, the N word. And, um, and then she turns around and says that she's not racist. But, but, but she felt comfortable in saying that. And she said, you know, um, she was upset because he was, um, saying all these positive things about black women, um, but he didn't want to say anything positive about white women. Um, and, um, and then she turns around and says that Beyonce was 
uh, looks mixed and um, basically saying she said that Beyonce she swears up and down that Beyonce is not black that Beyonce uh, looks mixed and Beyonce don't look like um, the, according to her the average black woman and I guess what's basically what she trying to say in so many words that Beyonce uh, because Beyonce is not dark skin I think she's trying to suggest that all dark skinned black women are ugly. That's pretty much what she's trying to say, that all dark skinned black women are ugly or all black women that are darker than Beyonce is ugly. And, you know, she was like, well, Beyonce doesn't have nappy hair, but what she doesn't realize is that Beyonce wears a lot of weaves. Uh, I'm not talking about Beyonce. I like Beyonce, but Beyonce wears a lot of weaves. So, we, you know, she could very well have um, African hair up underneath the weaves. Um, but uh, we were trying to tell her, me and uh, and some other black women were trying to come on there and tell her that uh, Beyonce has two black parents. She is black. I mean, she. I think she does have some other um, ethnic ethnicities in her. Um, but let's keep it real. I mean, let's face facts. All black people are biracial. All black people are mixed with something. It's because of slavery. It's because of slavery, because back in slavery, the slave master slept with the black woman and they produced children. Um, and that happened quite a bit back in those days. Um, so black people, um, if we if we didn't, if that didn't happen, do you realize how dark we would be? Um, if, if the slave masters didn't sleep with the black women and produce children, um, we would be quite dark. All of us, we would be very, very, very dark. There, there wouldn't be so many different variations in our colors um, if that didn't happen. So all black people have something um, in them. So her argument is weak, very weak, you know. But anyway, she's, I just say that, you know, that's just ignorant. I, you know, just ignorance, plain and simple is just ignorance. Um, but I just, I, I, I'm noticing how... Um, why is it that when someone is speaking positive, positively about black women, um, it's it's all of a sudden a problem? I mean, I kind of um, marinated on that. It just seems like it's such a big problem when someone is speaking positive about black women. You know, this man obviously loves black women. He's obviously very attracted to black women. And he he's speaking very positively about black women. Well, um, it's a lot of people that seem to have a problem with that. Now, you get people like um, Tommy Sotomayor or some of the other black men on YouTube that are, their whole MO is bashing black women and saying negative things about black women. Well, people love those guys. They love those guys and they love to hear the, all the negativity that is said about black women. They don't, a lot of people, um, now I'm not saying all black men because there is some black men that are against that. But um, but it just seems like when there's negative things being said about black women, um, there's not a big problem with it, you know. But then when there's something positive being said about black women and all of a sudden people have a problem with it. So this, this to me, this shows the blatant hatred, the blatant hatred that is, is uh, this steered towards black women. And it's really, really sad. It's really, really sad that there's a lot of hatred towards black women. And it's really sad because there's a lot, a lot of good black women out here, a lot of beautiful black women out here, um, a lot of good black women out here um, that that just doesn't don't deserve that, you know. And um, there's thousands and thousands of videos on YouTube and it's you know and this and this 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 white woman woman you know was upset because he wasn't saying anything positive about black women uh, uh, white women and so I just came on there and I told her I said well it, it, the the media the the media all glorifies white women all the time I said look at your your media your media is always glorifying white women uh black women rarely get any kind of uh, praise or, uh, uh, you know, I said, all you had to do is just look in the general media. You look in the general media, white women are blown up all the time. I was like, this, you're upset just because of this one guy is, is not elevating white women, you know, just because this one guy is not elevating white women, you have a problem with it.
So that just lets me know the blatant, the the, the blatant um, uh, hatred towards black women. And um, and yeah, she was, it seems like she has some feelings of jealousy uh, and everything. But all she has to do is look at the thousands of videos on YouTube of black men bashing black women and talking, you know, saying wonderful things about white women because there's a whole lot of videos on YouTube that that she that that she can be enlightened by because um way more videos on youtube elevating them than um you know we're 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 um perceived as being the most horrible women on the planet and the most unattractive women on the planet and and that's the perception you know and it's unfortunately coming from a lot of our men and so when someone comes on YouTube, particularly a white man, and elevates us and talks positive things about us, there's I noticed that there I noticed that there was a whole lot of people that had a big major issue with it. And it just tells me that's something seriously wrong. That that people love hatred towards black women. Pe people love negativity towards black women. And it's really, really sad. It's really sad because black women are beautiful. Um, we're beautiful just like every any other women are. There's a lot of us that are out there here that are beautiful. A lot of us have a, a lot of good things, positive things going about us. There's a lot of wonderful, good black women out here. And it's just really sad that people love to see black women get put down and berated and bashed and um, I, I say maybe it probably stems from low self-esteem, you know, having a low self-esteem and not having no self-worth, you know, um, you, you know, anytime you want to say, you know, negative things or you like to hear negative things constantly being said about somebody else. Um, that, to me, that's just not healthy thinking. You know, you glorify, you're, you're uh, enlightened and glorified by um constant negativity being steered towards a Pacific race of women that shows your lack of self-esteem you know you that you lack self-esteem and if there's people people coming on YouTube um, whether it be black men or or anybody coming on YouTube bashing anyone it stems back to low, go back uh, it stems from low self-esteem you know wanting to always put someone else down um, so you can feel better about yourself you know so I would have to think that if, if you if you are entertained and you really love to hear negative, horrible things said about black women on a consistent basis, and then something positive is said about black women, you got a problem with it. What does that say? What does that say about you? It just says your self-esteem is not good. You know, your self-esteem is low, not healthy thinking. You know, I don't think like that. You know, I don't I don't prescribe to that mentality. I don't have that kind of mentality. You know, I think that there's beauty in all races of women. Beauty, there's beauty in all races of women. Um, there's beautiful black women, beautiful white women, uh, beautiful Asian. Oh, I think a lot of Asian women are beautiful. Um, a lot of the Indian women are beautiful. Um, it's, you know, there's beautiful. There's beauty in all races, and that's just basically how I think. You know, I don't think in terms of uh well you know this race of women and you know you know and then and then i um and i don't like to see men bashing any race of women to be honest um if there's a man that's bashing white women i don't really necessarily like to hear that you know um just that's just not the way i think you know i think because i am a christian and also i just i don't have a low self-esteem like that where i feel like um, it, it, I don't feel like it makes me feel better about myself to hear somebody, you know, putting down another race of women, you know, I just, I don't think like that. And so I think if anybody thinks that way, then they have a low self-esteem, obviously. So, but I noticed that, I just noticed that, um, when something, you know, this guy, uh, is getting bashed for saying positive things about black women. You know, he's getting bashed from white women, and white a lot of some white women are coming on there and they're having a problem with it, and some black guys are coming on there and having a problem with it. So that just lets me, you know, that just lets me know that um, it's a lot of people that relish in the fact that black women are consistently being berated and put it put down. And they seem to take pride and seem to take joy in that. 
And I just think that's very sad. Uh, very sad. And it just shows, you know, their insecurities and low self-esteem, you know. Um, I was just, just something I was marinating on. Uh, but if you get a chance to check out this guy's videos, um, I think it's Noen uh, Nanwick or something like that. Oh, no, not Noen Nanwick. Cohen Nanwick. I think that's his name. It's Cohen Nanwick. Um, and he's actually from the Netherlands. And his video, I, I love watching his videos. I enjoy his videos. Because I, it's finally, you know, it's, it's nice to hear someone speak positively about black women instead of always hearing the negativity. Because there's a lot of that going on on YouTube. It's too much. It's it's just too much. So, and it, just, it seems to be commonplace. It seems to be commonplace on YouTube to for black women to be bashed and, and um you know, society as a whole uh, don't elevate us and put us down. And then you get on YouTube and you got to, you, you know, uh, it, it's, it's a challenge uh, keeping a positive, keeping a healthy self-esteem as a black woman. It's, it's kind of challenging, to be honest, to maintain a healthy self-esteem as a black woman because you got society that... Um, you know, the general media, you know, you never see, hardly ever see any positive in, 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 uh, images of black women over the decades. And, um, you know, in um, other races of women, you know, particularly white women are being elevated consistently over black women. Um, and to hear, then we had to hear from our own men and that's adding insult to injury. So, as a whole, I know as, as a whole, and so it's a challenge to maintain a healthy self-esteem as a black woman. It, it is a challenge. Um, but it was just something I was marinating on. You guys let me know what you think in the comments section. This is Sweet June.